Welcome back, Cage Sider fans. I am here now in studio with the best friend of our previous guest, Mr. Randy Romero, Max Ornelas, the baby face they call you. Welcome to our show. Thank you so much for coming down. Um, you're a week out from your fight, and from what I hear, this is your first six rounder. So tell me a little bit about how you're feeling right now, and what is it like to actually be on the same card as your best friend? Uh, right now, I'm really excited, anxious. Uh, I've been out for three months, but it's it, it feels like a year. <laughs> and, okay. and to, to be on a, a, a card with my best friend Randy, it's it's, it's an amazing, pretty pr yeah. pretty awesome experience. Um, I you know I see on your record you're seven and zero, right? Uh, you have the same coach in Gil Martinez, who's a great coach coming out of here in Vegas. Raised you both up. Uh, from the from the beginning all the way up, you had a great amateur record: forty-eight wins, seven losses. Uh, going through your your training with Gil and growing up with your best friend, what was those like? Like, did you and did you and Randy go at each other? I know you're at one hundred eighteen pounds, I know he's one hundred and thirty, but were you two kind of like the sparring partners for each other? Um, were you know were you more like brothers? What well, what was it like in the, in that dynamic growing up? Well, it was, um, he, he, well, he's a heavier weight class, so was, he would usually spar the, the bigger guys. I would usually spar the smaller guys. But so sometimes we would mix it up in there, and, and still till this day, he, he helps me get ready for fights, and I help him, help him get ready for fights. Now, now, from what I've heard, you have a hack of a left hook to the <laughs> liver, right? I know you told me you really, you studied a lot of Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., you know, the, yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, when you're, when you're sparring yourself or you're working with somebody like a Randy, do you get to hit him? And, like, you ever, like, I, you know, you don't have to say if you dropped him before or anything, <laughs> but, uh, you, you know, you ever get to work those type of shots on someone like him? Or does your Coach Gill actually bring in other people for you to work on? Well, uh, uh, first of all, Randy has a, a really good defense, so it's kind of hard to hit him with that shot. All right. But sometimes in, in, uh, when coach brings in other people that want to spar me, then I, I can land it pretty good. All right, cool, cool. Now, six rounds. Now, usually when somebody's stepping up from four rounds to six rounds, uh, this is the first time where you start to maybe uh, uh, play out a longer type game plan. Without giving it away too much, what's your coach Gil told you a little bit about what you guys are going to do for this next fight? Are you just going to go in there, balls out, treat it like a four-rounder, and if you knock the kid out, you knock the kid out? Or are you going to kind of say to yourself, you know what, I got six rounds to work with it. Maybe I set up a trap. Maybe I land that, uh, that liver shot. What, what, what are you thinking? Well, it's always the same thing in, in sparring. Uh, we don't really train for four rounds or six rounds. We always train for more. So e either way, if, if I want to box him out for the first few rounds, then I, I guess that's up to me. And if I want to go for the, I guess, for the kill, then, <laughs> then I'll go for it. Yeah, when you say that, you know, maybe this is why they call you the baby face assassin. When you even say, oh, when I go in for the kill, yeah. you say it's so shy, you know? <laughs> I, th I think there's probably going to come a point when you, when you start to get up there and maybe yeah. when, you're, uh, when you already have had as many knockouts as your uh, buddy there, Randy, that you'll start to say it a little harder, you know? Yeah. I'm going for the kill. I'm going to oh, go get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right? um, what excites you the most? Heading into to a week away, uh, downtown Las Vegas Event Center, Roy Jones Jr. Uh, will most likely be there watching you, right? What excites you the most about doing your first six-rounder? Well, what always excites me the most is walking out towards the ring and seeing all my friends and family. Like, the place gets really loud, so it's, it's not really the fight. It's just the environment that I'm in during the fight and having everybody cheer me on. So you're, so you're really the type of fighter you don't even think about your opponent. You're not mm -hmm. even thinking about what mm. you know who it's going to be or what's going to happen yeah. you, you seem to me you're so calm you seem to me like the type of fighter who honestly if they change your opponent on you week of the fight you wouldn't even really care right yeah. no. that doesn't matter at all you just got to adapt to whatever opponent they put in front of you all right cool 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 so um going into with this next fight what do you know about the opponent you're going to have in the sixth rounder well i know he has a, a lot of experience i think he almost he has about almost 40 fights Okay. So, and I've, I've, co I've watched a couple of, uh, like, um, films on him, like, on YouTube and stuff. And I know he's, he's shorter, but he likes to box. Okay. But I think that'll work in my favor because um, I'm the lengthier guy and I like to box too. And I, in my mind, I believe I'm the better boxer. Now, this is a technical question for you because you're saying that he is uh, shorter. So, um, how are you going to get that liver punch in there? 
Real uh, quick. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll find a way. You'll figure out yeah. a way. All right. Well, well, Randy, it's, it, it's, it's so great to have you here today on studio. Thank you so much. I know your family's going to be there. I know your, I, you know, your best friend's going to be there. Uh, you know, I, I'm excited to watch it. Guys, knockout night at the, uh, the downtown Las Vegas event center. Thank you uh, so much for coming in. Max, Babyface, Ornelas. Thank you.